वेलकम ऑल टू लॉ सीखोस थरो न्यूज पेपर एनालिसिस फॉर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ एज पर द स्केड्यूल द वे वी गो वील बी डिस्कसिंग फर्स्ट अबाउट द एजेंडा एंड द एडिटोरियल सेक्शन द एडिटोरियल सेक्शन स्पीक्स अबाउट आर्टिकल वन फोर्टी टू वाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट को चंडीगढ़ मेयर्स इलेक्शन एंड वाई इट मैटर्स this particular editorial we are discussing it from the indian express then we'll be discussing very interesting news update and lastly the legal news update of the day which is coming from the honorable supreme court of india now let us start with the editorial section where the supreme court has quashed the result of january 30th which was the election of mayor of chandigarh after finding that presiding officer Mr Anil Mashi has deliberately invalidated eight ballot cast in favor of Aam Aadmi Party Congress candidate Shri Kuldeep Kumar Tita Now the bench for this particular judgment comprised of CGI DY Chandrachot and Justice JB Pardiwala and Manoj Mishra Now while setting aside the result as contrary to law and declaring Kuldeep Kumar as validly elected candidate refused to quash the election process itself now there were various grounds on which the court struck down the result now let us discuss first the grounds on which the court has struck down the result the court has used here the power which was provided in article 142 of the constitution to do complete justice and protect the sanctity of electoral democracy now the bench said that it is absolutely evident while the petitioner is reflected to have polled 12 votes the eight votes which are treated as invalid were wrongfully treated to be so and each of those invalid votes were in fact validly cast in favor of the petitioner it follows that kuldeep had in fact received 20 votes while manoj sonkar the bjp candidate had only 16 votes we accordingly order and direct that the result of election as declared by the presiding officer shall stand quashed and set aside now why here we are talking about the mayor's election and why it is so important so the powers of mayor of chandigarh municipal corporation are limited to calling meetings and deciding agenda although the corporation has a five year term the mayor is elected only for one year the post is reserved for a woman candidate in first and fourth year of each corporation now the last election to the corporation was held in 2021 This year election was politically significant because it saw an alliance for the first time between AAP and Congress against the BJP setting the stage for potential alliances for Lok Sabha elections as well. So there was an alliance between Congress and Aam Aadmi Party and they were against BJP and they won this year. Now what is the situation ahead of this election the elections were initially scheduled on January 18 but when AAP and Congress councillors reached the venue they were told that voting has been postponed as the presiding officer that is Mr Anil Mashi has been ill Now the UT wanted to hold the election on February 6 but Kuldeep approached the Punjab and Haryana High Court which ordered the election to be held on January 30 Ahead of this election, AAP had thirteen councillors and Congress seven, which gave the alliance a clear advantage in thirty-six member house. On election day, after presiding officer rejected eight votes of AAP Congress as invalid, BJP Sonkar was declared to be elected mayor of Chandigarh. Now, what happened after the election? After video showed Masi marking ballot papers so they could be declared invalid. Kuldeep that was a candidate of AAP and Congress alliance moved to high court and then supreme court now the honorable supreme court observed here that it was obvious that mashi was defected defaced the ballots and this man has to be prosecuted the court added it was appalled at and mockery and murder of democracy this is the whole situation is the murder of democracy it's the it's the presiding officer conduct 
who has been depreciated because he was unlawfully altered the course of election process. Secondly, by making a solemn statement which has expressed a patent falsehood for which he must be accountable. This is a harsh murder of democracy here. Now, meanwhile, three up councillors joined the BJP on Sunday. Had the court ordered a fresh election instead of merely quashing the result, up Congress tally would have fallen to 17 from 20, while BJP votes would have risen to 19, giving the party the majority of 36 votes that would cast. Unlike in elections for parliament, state assembly, there is no defection law in municipal elections. So there is no, not any type of anti-defection laws in the municipal corporation election and mayor election being the municipal corporation elections as we discussed here. So this was all about the political, uh, you know, agendas of the various parties and how Supreme Court is holding the torch of democracy to protect our constitution. That is the major thing here. Now, let us come to the national news of the day where we will be talking about Gulveer Singh clinches India's fourth gold at Asian Indoor Athletes Championship 2024. So Gulveer Singh secured India's fourth gold at a uh, fourth gold medal by trumping in 3000 meter final race. The silver and bronze medal went to Kenneth Bo, uh, uh, Nurse Sultan from Kazakhstan and Jali Naseri from Iran. Now, what about the other athletes in the other events of the gold medal? Harmilan Benz, Women 1500 meter gold, Jyoti Yaraji, Women 60 meter hurdles gold, Tanjinder Pal Singh Tour, men shot put gold, and Ankita Dhyani, women's 3000 meter silver. So, this was all about the medal tally of Asian Indoor Athletes Championship 2024. Now, equestrian Arnush Agarwala secures country's maiden Paris Olympic quota in dressage. Asian Games medalist, who is the Asian Games medalist? Anush Agarwala has secured the first ever, first ever Paris Olympic quota in dressage discipline for the country. So this is the first time that we are securing a quota in Olympic in dressage. Agarwala has clinched India's first individual bronze at the Asian Games in dressage this year. As the quota is allotted to National Olympic Committee, not an individual, the Equestrian Federation of India will conduct a trial before sending the final name to 2024 Paris Olympics. IREDA, that is Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited, and PNB, that is Punjab National Bank, they have signed an MOU. For what? They we are collaborating on financing renewable energy projects across India. So what is the aim? Aim is to accelerate the access to finance for developers in this critical sector according to an exchange filing. So this particular two major developmental institutions have joined hand together and have signed an MOU for financing of renewable energy projects in India. Cricketer Shubham Gill designated as Punjab state icon for Lok Sabha polls. So Punjab Chief Electoral Officer has designated Indian cricketer Shubham Gill as a state icon for the upcoming Lok Sabha poll. The poll panel has set the target of Iswar 70 par. Earlier, popular Punjabi singer named Tarseem Jassar has been selected as a state icon and he too would conduct similar campaign. So Shubham Gil, as you all know, a very good cricketer of our Indian team has been designated as a Punjab state icon for Lok Sabha poll this coming year. Government launch launches Sagar Anand Kalan guideline to boost port efficiency. So, uh, you know, Union Minister of Port Shipping and Waterways have launched Sagar Ankalan guidelines during the stakeholders meet for implementation of the MOUs signed earlier at Global Maritime India Summit 2023. Now, what are the key highlights? The minister launched six guidelines, these guidelines for Indian Port Performance Index, signaling a concentrated effort towards port efficiency enhancement. Okay, so this is all about, uh, you know, government launching various programs 
for the port efficiency and this time it is Sagar Ankalan. MNS jurist Fali S. Nariman passes away. This is a very deep saddening news coming up from the legal fraternity. Eminent jurist and senior advocate Fali S. Nariman passed away and he was 95 years old. Now, uh, Fali S. Nariman has argued several landmark cases. I am discussing few here. NJAC verdict, SCAR association case, that is the collegium system, and TMAPI, that is the scope of minority under Article 30. Now, keeping his autobiography before memory phase, which is written by other books, The State of Nation, God Save the Honorable Supreme Court. Now, the government of India has also awarded various awards to this jurist personality, Padma Bhushan in 1991, Padma Vibhushan in 2007. He was nominated as a member of Rajya Sabha from 1999 to 2005. 1999 to 2005. Now, Mizoram and Anurachal Pradesh Foundation Day of 24. So, Mizoram Foundation Day is celebrated every year on February 28th to honor the Northeastern State Accomplishment of Statehood in 1987 as we discussed in the yesterday's DNA. On February 28th denotes the Statehood Day of both Mizoram and Anurachal Pradesh. Now, let us way back to the history of this particular day. In 1961, Mizor National Front was formed by local Mizor tribal leaders to request the political rights. To that end, the Mizor National Front launched a fierce revolt against the government of India in 1966. The surgency, which went on to for two decades, at last brought about the peace accord between the government of India and MNF in 1980. Six. And subsequently, there was a foundation day which was celebrated on 28th of February 1987. World Day of Social Justice 2024. What is the date, history and significance? So the World Day of Social Justice is observed every year on January 20th. Okay. On uh, on June 10, 2008, the International Labour Organization unanimously endorsed the ILO Declaration on Social Justice for a Fair Globalization. So, th this is the mandate. The General Conference then decided to designate February 20th. It is February 20th. We celebrate World Day of Social Justice beginning with the 33rd session of the General Conference on 26 November 2000. Now, Supreme Court declares our councillor as Chandigarh mayor. So, as we discuss in the editorial section today, Supreme Court has declared Aam Admi Party councillor Kuldeep Kumar as the mayor of Chandigarh Municipal Cooperation. Now, the court stated and declared the results to be illegal and set it aside, founding that the presiding officer has deliberately defaced eight ballot which were cast in favor of Kuldeep Kumar so as to make them invalid. And here, the Supreme Court has used Article 142 of the Constitution to pass the direction to do the complete justice. Okay? The court have also initiated criminal proceedings under Section 340 of the CRPC against the presiding officer named Anil Mish for making false statements before the court. The case name is Kuldeep Kumar vs. UT Chandigarh. Accused cannot invoke Section 91 CRPC to compel prosecution to produce things at the stage of framing of charges. So here, whether accused could file an application for the production of things, documents in possession of prosecution at the stage of framing of charge to exercise its right of defense before the initiation of trial. So this is all about the issue that is there in this particular case that uh, does the accused have a right to invoke section 191? So answering negatively, the court observed that the accused entitlement to seek an order for the production of thing or document which is mentioned under section 91 of CRPC would ordinarily not come till the stage of defense. 
okay so court observed that court cannot issue process under section 91 of the crpc to compel the production of things document based on the application made by accused at the stage of framing of charges and the case name here is state of rajasthan versus swarnasin at the red baba we have molded our legal updates and divided into issue and a very thin line fundamental understanding line of the case and what is the observation of the court do let us know in the comment section did you like this particular change in a legal update okay if you want to revise your previous tna then do do attempt the quiz link that is mentioned in the description of this particular video if you like this video do share with your friends and colleagues do please like this video and subscribe the channel this is certainly free for you but it will certainly help us to grow in the future thank you so much for watching guys do take care of yourself